Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. These are the stories that happened last week on Earth. Thank you for coming through and joining me again, man. We got to talk about the things that happened last week on Earth, man. First of all, oh boy, was I right. When I say I'm right, I was right. We had a conversation about um the OMG girls and the, you know, the LOL dolls and t t what's her name? Tiny and T.I. They, you know, they sued this company, the LOL dolls, because the OMG girls feel like the LOL dolls was... You know, infringing on a copyright or whatever. And we had an argument about this or a debate, me and my wife, on the show, what, two weeks ago, two Fridays ago. And um, she thought I was wrong, but I was right. And the right, the settlement was they got $71 million because they felt that they infringed on them. My wife used the word basic. It was the basic look they had, but I'm trying to tell her. They stole their basic look. And not that they stole the look. That they st Everybody doing the look. But these, what, three girls? How many girls in the OL? These three girls were three looks. And you come out with a product wearing the same three looks that these girls caught wearing and name it OMG Dolls. <clears throat> and the group is OMG Girls. They stealing. And um, she don't want to, she still don't believe it, you know. But, you know, opinions are like assholes. Everybody have them. And, you know, my opinion was right. She don't, my, my opinion didn't sway her. As she reiterated Friday on the show, she was like, yeah, you was right. But I, they, they had no, they had more evidence than I had. I can't explain it why I feel that I'm right. But I was right. So, oh boy, was I right. And that's that. I have last week on earth. How do we know? That's the question I want to ask. How do we know? About this situation right here. Holly Berry, she came out and said that Prince tried to holler at her. Wrote her letter. A handwritten letter like, yo, will you go with me? Yes or no? Check the box. Some school stuff. You know what I'm talking about, man. And um, <clears throat> I was like, how do we know? How do we know this is true? Prince, he known for having some of the baddest women ever to walk the face of the earth. He known for that. He known for having baddies. So... If I was a you know a female, I would want to be a part of that baddie group. I would be like, yeah, Prince tried to holler at me, and that's like boosting her up. You know, she she is Holly Berry, and she was Holly Berry back then when he was at his top of his game, top of her game. They was they both was bad, you know. But that makes her feel like like it, it's, it's justification. It's like she can say, hey, Prince tried to holler at me, and you'd be like, oh damn, you know, you was bad, even though she was bad. But how do we know? I don't want her putting that on his jacket. Do you have the proof of the letter? Was somebody there? Did somebody pass the letter to you? You got it? I'm like, oh, I see. I, I, he did pass her a letter. So I'm saying, like, you bad, but you ain't got to go out and say Prince was trying to holler at you or something like that, you know, to make you look even badder than what you is because you're getting up in age and that's what they try to do. They try to hold on to something. Like, yeah, Prince tried to holler at me. And everybody be like, damn. You know, Prince only hollered at baddies. So. And then, and I like, I'm not saying he didn't because she was bad as hell back then. She bad now, you know what I mean? But how do we know? He wrote you just that. Don't me talk. Don't speak on me when I'm dead, yo. If I ain't, you ain't got proof. Don't be speaking on me. You know what she did? She spoke on him. Damn. That's what I had to say about this right here, man. Damn. This woman and this female right here, they is locked up because this woman right here at the top, she is a stripper. And this dude right here is a boyfriend of the stripper. They coerced some dude to come to a hotel room. And they thought he was going to have relations with this woman at the top for $1,500. When he came in there, they murked him. Um, Damn. That's what I got to say about this. I ain't like, he didn't get to touch it, taste it, smell it, nothing. He paid $1,500. Then I started thinking like, what's the going rate? Because $1,500 is a lot. $1,500 is a lot. And I started thinking about it. I had a homeboy that said he purchased some for $70. And I was thinking like, damn, that's not a lot of money. I don't think I want the $70. I want the, I want the $1,500. I'm not paying for nothing. No way. But I'm saying, you understand what I'm saying? $70 is not a lot. 
fifteen hundred dollars is not a lot either. It's too much. What's the going rate on Smash? I don't. Know. <laughs> but but yo, know, R.I.P. to the dude. They ain't show the dude, but um, I don't think she's worth fifteen hundred. I ain't seen the body. I don't know. She was a stripper, and some like hey, she was like yeah, hundred. I mean, you know, one thousand fifteen hundred. You can get it. And they didn't set some dude up, man, to, to murk him. So, that's how the story go, man. Damn. From crook to shook. I got a lot of flack on this. When I talked about this yesterday, uh, Friday night. I'm recording this on Saturday. But fr last Friday, I get a little little flack on this because I said from crook to shook. This is Brett Favre. He has been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. In my little comedy world I try to do, in my little comedy I try to make, he went from crook to shook because he's shaking now with the Parkinson's. He's a crook from the welfare fraud, allegedly, and all that stuff. And now he's shaking with Parkinson's disease. When I made this little joke, like, he went from crook to shook. My wife was like, this tasteful. So, you know, from crook to shook, Parkinson's disease, Brett Favre. I'll be the judge. That's exactly what this dude did right here. He became the judge, jury, and executioner himself. The dude at the bottom with the glasses on. He went in, he is a police officer and he went into the Letcher County Courthouse and murked this dude right here. This dude is a judge. I don't know what they got going on, but it's allegations of him and his daughter. That's why he went and murked that man. But that's what happened. He went and murked the judge. A sheriff went and murked the judge. Something else going on, man. Mm -hmm. But he said, I will be the judge. I don't know if like whatever he the reason why he did it was because of his daughter. You know, they said he was messing. The judge was had dealings with the daughter. And I don't know if that's true. But he the judge, so maybe he could have. He Maybe he took drastic measures because he know he was going to. The judge probably was going to get away with it. Or I don't know. The, the court case. The court law. and mm, I know dude is what became his old judge, jury, and executioner though. So I don't know the details, man. More details to come out. We definitely going to talk about it again on this channel, man. Right here. Bridgerton Nall. It must have been a Bridgerton ball. It must have had a ball out in Detroit, man. But when people showed up, man, they said they paid $1,200 for their tickets. When they showed up, it was empty. It wasn't glamorous. And they had a stripper. For some reason, they was like, why is there a stripper at the damn Bridgerton party or Bridgerton ball? Some of these people, they it was too empty. It must have been lavish. Look at this, man. They got two chairs. Enough for you to take pictures and sit there. The red carpet looked disgusting. It ain't even a carpet. It's like a sheet. Um, this is not Bridgerton. I haven't seen Bridgerton, Bridgington, whatever you want to call it. Bridger, I don't know, but I know what it represents. It's fancy. It's upscale. It's Bridgerton. Oh, and it it, it wasn't that. This happened in Detroit, so this is what y'all get. You can't bring elegance to Detroit. <laughs> Bridgerton, no. Big shout out to the 313, man. And everybody up there. My Holland Park dogs. And the cycle continues. That's what I had to say about this right here, man. The cycle continues. This is Oklahoma. These are um, six young men right here, students at a high school. And and they had to, you know, come on, look at this, man. The hard R. The ER. This is what they took a photo with, man. Posted on social media. These are high school students in Oklahoma. Um... The cycle continues, man, because that, as we, you know, we stated on the show or reiterated that, yo, um, it starts from home. It starts from home, man. And the cycle continues, man. Like, I don't know why these boys felt brave enough to do this. I think the, the first G, the one in the middle, the G, he means it. I I don't know, man. He, That's a scary little dude right there, man. Not scary to me, but. I feel sorry for him. I don't know what he got going have going on in his life. He looked dirty in his hair. He looked like he got dreads or something. I don't know, man, but I don't know. He he don't mean it. Everybody else probably <laughs> just do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. But some of these boys look like student athletes and like, yo, this is crazy, man. This is just disgusting. It's hurtful. It's sad. Like now these boys gotta go the rest of their life on on camera and it's gonna get brought up years down the line um it, it could be unsafe for them you know because once people find out and oh, that's one of the boys from such and such high school 
people can, you know, unnecessary. Not, not, it ain't necessary to mess with nobody, but to put your hands on nobody. And these are, these are young men. They student. They young. They impressionable. They think the shit funny. They think the shit cute. I just, it's a sad situation, man, because they got to go on for the rest of their life knowing they did this. Social media lasts forever. It's going to be forever. Somebody going to be like, yo, that's, that's Chad and Brandon. Remember that? Seven years ago, when they tried to get in somewhere, and it just messed up, man. So the cycle continues, man. Somebody got to break the cycle. Because I thought the shit would be over with by now, racism. But mm, it don't seem to be that way. This woman right here going to hell. Going to hell on the wheels, to be exact. This woman right here, man, she's been, the NYPD is looking for her crime stoppers. If you got any tips, call 1-800-577-8477 to get her, man. She stole this from a damn elderly woman, 70-year-old woman. This is a hover round. Avalanche, something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Motorized um, wheelchair. She was walking, seen somebody with it. I don't know how she got it from the woman. Maybe the woman was walking up the steps and somebody was going to do something to something. But I just know she stole this from a 70-year-old woman, what the reports say. And she riding by, minding her business. After they're like, come on, man, that woman need that. First of all, the woman got that shit. They were saying this thing's about three thousand dollars, man, and up. The people in the chat last night, um, I mean Friday, just this happened last week on Earth. The people last week said this um, it was up to three thousand dollars and more for electrical, electrical motorized scooter, whatever wheelchair. That woman need this, man. And look at her. They were trying to decipher what her hair really looked like. Like, what is that? Is that a fade? Is that a thing? Like, what is that on the? Is that a? I thought it was a black power fist. That hair, look at that. I think she got like a fade, and that's a bag of trash behind her, or it's just some ugly ass hair. Y'all see it though. Y'all see her. She going to hell though, man. Y'all need to find her, whoever she is. I don't condone snitching and none of that, but I'm a civilian. Get her, man. Get her. Her name Tawanda. Or something. It got to be. It's something tutting up. Just in case. Um. This dude right here, man, just in case the abortion laws is not settled the right way or some of the way to his liking, this is the governor of Washington or the mayor. I don't know who was hired, the mayor or governor. I think the governor hired in the mayor, the mayor from the local city and the mayor for whoever. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. This is Washington. He is stockpiling on, stockpiling um, abortion medicines. Something to, you know, do the abortion, so... I don't know. I just know he um stockpiling that. that just this is in Washington. I don't know nothing about the they body they choice. I don't know. So mm. American woman dies in Swiss Kevorkian pod. It's not called a Kevorkian pod, but y'all know what Doctor Kevorkian did. He assisted. He assisted Yasui. You know, this is what this woman did right here, man. She got into this pod, and I was asking the question like, "Yo, is this thing is like?" It's legal. It's in Switzerland somewhere, but like how? Like I don't know, man. She had to pay for this also, so you had to pay to play to get inside this Kevorkian pod that I'm calling it. But yo, um, I don't, I don't know, man. Like she got to push the own button herself, but like they say, it's carbon monoxide to take you out the game in this. Like she had to hit the button, but somebody had to load up the carbon monoxide, or I guess the materials to go inside of this to make it do what it do because it do what it do it works it works she but the crazy thing about it she had to pay for this this is what i'm thinking like i don't want to be here no more i'm gonna go to this man he got this little pie i can go in there lay down click the button a couple times and i'm gonna, not gonna be here but you gotta pay like an obscene amount of money absurd amount I was, mm. Be for me and I'll do it for free. Nah, I'm playing. I don't know, man. This is crazy, but this is American woman. She she went to her demise over here in the Kevorkian pod, man. So, yo, y'all be safe out here, man. If that's how you want to go, if you want to be a burden on nobody. Because we was um we was talking about this. is like in some cultures that people walk away and just, I think it was Native Americans. They, they, they well, don't, don't quote me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Native American tribes. They just like, when they feel like they're getting old and stuff, they just walk off and just off into the woods and just fall out and pass out there and die. Not be a burden on people. Um, I think that the movie Midsommar, 
was brought up how people get on this top of this mountain this jump leap to your doom leap to your doom like on power rangers <laughs> movie i watch too much tv man all right we'll see so y'all know eat that eat that <laughs> they saying um oh, what's my man name puff daddy they say puff daddy did it did it did it not they say he's not eating in prison because he's scared he's gonna get poisoned He's on Suey Watch. He on Suey C. Suey. I don't want to say it, man, because, you know, the parameters of YouTube don't want you to say certain things. But y'all know what I'm talking about. He said he ain't trying to check out the game. But he said he don't want to eat the food because, yo, somebody might try to poison him. He don't feel safe for his life. So, I don't know. He don't want to eat that. Eat that. Or did they, did they? That's because I got on my whole little puff rant. Um, Did they, did they? Reginald Bell Johnson, a.k.a. Carl Winslow. He's been allegations of him and P. Diddy hooking up. Somebody said they saw it with their own eyes. They synced it. Um, Reginald Bell Johnson, a.k.a. Carl Winslow, say, I don't know that man. Um, But people saying, you know, so that's the rumor. Carl Winslow and Puff Daddy. I never in a million years thought I'd hear a rumor of Puff Daddy and Carl Winslow having, you know, a lifestyle together so it's all allegations y'all so mm -hmm. but did they did they i don't know i don't know not us not us you see i got into my whole little pub daddy little thing right there man not us not us this is costco's costco's came out and said look that baby oil everybody been talking about it's not us man we did not sell no costco's to pub daddy in bulk so don't be because mm -mm, everybody like yo how pub daddy get a thousand bottles of Baby oil. Everybody said, must got it from Costco's or Sam's Club. And Costco's like, mm -mm. And you know it's bad when they don't even want to take responsibility for the money. Like, nah, hell no. Nah. We ain't make no money off that. Mm -mm, nah, not us. We don't, mm -mm. So, Costco said, not us, not us. Oh, what else? I know I got another story. That's crazy, though. I say, how common of you. What I'm talking about, I'm talking about, what's her name? Cardi B. I say common of you because that's the old school terms. Like, I'm just common. You just common. Um, she said that um she cheated on offset while she was pregnant with his baby. They say, yeah, I cheated. When I did, I had a baby in my stomach. You had your baby. I cheated on you while I was pregnant. Common, nasty. <laughs> How common of you. Um he got his dirt too. He be doing this thing too. I don't know. That's their relationship, whatever. But I just think you just, ugh. so you going to, just because you hurt, you're going to go hurt him. And say, oh, I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to cheat while I'm pregnant. You just, you just, ugh. You can't wait to get it out here, love, and fuck on his friends or something. Nah. I'm going to do it while I'm pregnant. He going to cry in the car, boy. Mm, mm, mm. That's crazy. I just think she need to get her heart broke. When I talk about this person right here, this is JoJo Siwa. JoJo Siwa, she's doing too much. Look at these photos right here, man. Um, I don't even want to hold them up too long, man. This she Lady Gun magazine, and I think like she's trying to find herself. Like, chill little girl, man. She growing up. She been the little fairy tale pop princess, bow rats and glitter and sparkles and stuff. And now she's getting older. Now she's you know, going through some shit. I don't think she need to get her heart broke. To tell you the truth, I think she need to get fucked over, and get her heart broke, and, and come back. Just bring it down a peg because you 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 searching for so much. That's how I feel. I feel like she's looking for something, and you just get your heart broke. You need to sit back on the couch and be like, "I was tripping back then, yo." It, it, you know, some time will happen. That's what she needs: some time and a heartbreak. Cause she's doing too much, man. You ain't got to. Mm -mm. You gotta do that, man. You ain't gotta. She want to be grown so bad. You know what I mean? That's what I feel like. I just feel like she want to be grown. Hold on, let me publish my cat video. I got a cat video I got to put out today. It's Catterday, y'all. I mean, oh, this last week. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm over there putting out videos. She didn't get her heart broke. Um. You're contagious. Touch me, baby. Give me what you got. And I spelled your wrong because when I looked this up, 
I just I looked up the song of Contagious, and I, I um, screenshotted it, and so it's supposed to be apostrophe R E like your. I got that brought to my attention last night when I met. I mean, last week when I messed this up. But the story is is this right here. I ain't really like this story either, man. This is um, Bootsy Badass. Bootsy Badass said he do not like his daughter. He don't want his daughter being around his other siblings. I mean, her other siblings because she is a lesbian and he don't want her to be contaminate the other siblings. And that's why I say you're contagious. Like that's nasty, man. That's disgusting, yo. That's your child, man. And yes, your and that's her brothers and sisters. You don't want your lesbian daughter around your other children because you don't want her behavior to contaminate the other ones. And I don't think that's fair, man. That, that's not a fair assessment, yo. It don't rub off. It ain't contagious, but that's still your kid. You can't, you can't do your kids that way, bro. And I ain't like that. He say some outlandish shit all the time, Bootsy Badass. And I think this is probably one of the worst things he can say to his daughter. And he don't want her around. He don't want her and her girlfriend around his other kids because it might contact. You don't, you don't make them feel dirty and bad, yo, so. You wrong for that, Bootsy. Bootsy badass. And last but not least, was it baby oil? Was it baby oil? With Puff Daddy, man. Um, all these allegations of Puff Daddy coming out doing his thing, doing his thug dizzle, whatever, whatever, whatever. But they saying it ain't baby oil inside them baby oil containers, man. They said some tango and cash type shit. Some shit you can apply on your skin and it gets you euphoric and... Uh, uh, uh. I don't know. Is it baby oil? He had 1,000 bottles of baby oil. And um, it was brought up to, you know, to my mental last night or last week. Everybody was like, yo. In the chat, they was like, yo, why are they going to confiscate the baby oil? Like, if you see the baby oil, then, okay. You got 1,000 bottles, I mean, 1,000 bottles of baby oil. There must have been something inside of that baby oil for them to confiscate it. People were saying, like, yo, I hope they didn't take that baby oil you like, oh shit, let me get one of these and take it to the crib. You know, because it's baby oil. Who don't need baby oil? I mean, I don't need baby oil. I don't wear lotion either that much. Greasy. Hey. No, but um, if it's like a bottle of lotion, I'm like, shit, let me get a bottle of lotion. I can put some lotion on or something. So they got a thousand things of baby lotion. They were like, shit, let me, let me get one of these baby, baby oil. Take one of them to the crib. Throw my legs and shit, you know, whatever. So we don't know, man, but hope that nobody taking nothing home because it might not be baby oil. It might be some other stuff, man. It might be some other stuff inside of them, man. They say Pup Daddy a monster and all the kind of monstrous things he was doing. And for him to have that baby oil and you can squirt it on somebody and they get high or something. And that nigga was a monster. They said he had a tunnel under the grotto in his house. And I don't know, man. No, not no. That's crazy. Oh, this last one. I didn't get to this story last night. Wow. I didn't know I had another one. But Usher has to be stopped, yo. Yeah. Usher Raymond has to be stopped. This is um Haley Bailey, Chloe Bailey, one of them, and their boyfriend, her husband, baby daddy, DDG. They had a concert, and Usher tried to feed that man wife some damn strawberries, some cherries, while he's on stage. And her boyfriend took the damn cherries and Hell no, nah. I'm going to feed him to her. You're not feeding my wife on stuff. He need to be stopped Usher, man. Usher be doing stuff, rubbing on people's wives and stuff. Super Bowl behind him, pressing up against him from the back. Mm. He on stage, he over there picking up. What's 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 the girl name? Um, Not Kyla Pratt, the other one. I forgot her name, man. The other little chick he did something to. She grown, but, you know, he keep taking people's wives on stage and Caressing them and stuff, man. Usher has to be stopped, yo. And this was like part of like the final straw. He had a thing of, ch of cherries, trying to feed them, trying to feed her by hand and her mouth showed up. And bro, girl, yo, for you to have your mouth open like a baby bird, trying to get some damn cherries from another man, that car ride gonna be crazy as hell. Be like this. Oh, so you just gonna let that man feed you chairs in your mouth and shit on? Bro. See that drive the whole way home. I'll be. I ain't gonna look at you. I'm gonna turn this way. I'm gonna... Matter of fact, you drive. I'm getting in the back. You're gonna show for me home. So I can choke your ass out like a Gary. 
Nah, I'm playing. Anyway, man, we have fun on this channel, man. I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. right here on this channel, man. And we talk about stuff just like this. These are the things I talk about on Friday night, man, when I have my co-host with me, Primzilla and Charlene Defoe. I have these people with me talking about these stories right here. But we have different takes on it. So that's why I do it again. So I can talk about things that happened last week on Earth from my perspective. So it can I can be all right by myself. You see, they be trying to sway me in my opinion. Sometimes I'll be like, nah, I'm going to stick to being the dummy that I am, the asshole jerk that I am. And I'm going to be like, nah, they wrong. I'm right. So that's why I like doing this by myself. That's why I call it last week on earth because all this stuff happened last week on earth but y'all can argue with me and get y'all opinions off y'all self on friday nights right here on this channel when i do minutes to the future and we talk about these same stories right here man so it's a it's a, it's a vibe man come through and holler at us man we have fun every friday night at 9 p.m man hit that like button the comment button the share button the subscribe button the notification bell all them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimper that i'm putting out when i put it out like i said i go live every friday at 9 p.m come through join your boy heist man the foe this has been last week on earth this is a dangerous group is it groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.